folks, thanks for joining me today. In today's tutorial, we're going to be doing something very similar to the, my last one that I did. It's still part of the gnome series, but because I did a Canada gnome for Canada Day for the birthday, I also did one for the US for Independence Day. So that's what this one is. I do apologize for being a month late <laughs> getting this out to you um, but uh, life has been uh, a bit busy for me and trust me you guys are always on my mind and knowing that I've got to get these uh, tutorials out to you so uh, do bear with me winter's coming and I'll be back on schedule in no time I'm sorry I said that W word but <laughs> we have to face reality anyways so um, I just painted a uh, stone that I made from the Happy Dotting Company using the uh, mold number two and I used um, or I, I drew a circle on it with a compass and for the background I used midnight blue so this is by Americana and now what you're watching me do is use those amazing glitter watercolors and I absolutely love the effect these make for fireworks in the background they shine and shimmer so nice just like fireworks do on the 4th of July so I just wanted to add these in they work so well with my Canadian gnome that I wanted to do it for this one as well but this one I put three of them on there because I was just having so much fun with it using the different colors um, and I got this paint set at HomeSense uh, so it was I think it was like eight dollars Canadian um, but I'm sure you can find these uh, on Etsy or you can find them on Amazon uh, but that's where I found my paint set and I just I love it so I'm going to be doing more experimentation with it um, and I do have to give a shout out to Rachel's Rocks for um, introducing me to this. Uh, I watch her quite regularly and um, she's been my inspiration in doing this. So um, once you're done watching my video, head on over to her uh, YouTube page uh, or YouTube channel because she has a ton of videos of a lot of different techniques and different things she's she's a very talented woman definitely go and check her out uh, but do that after if you've watched my video <laughs> so as I've been gabbing there um, I've put on uh, the drawing of the gnome after the watercolor paint had dried completely um, and so I drew him on put on his nose just like I've done with all of the other gnomes and now I'm painting his hat now I definitely wanted to keep this in with the American theme so I had to go with the red white and blue um, I also had to put on some stars and some stripes and I think I captured everything I possibly could to represent the patriotic US of A so um, I put on this uh, blue which is called true blue from folk art and then I just added a little bit of white to just lighten up the color a bit because I really wanted the original color to be the shadows and then the white would be where the light sources are. I do change this a little bit later in the video um, so do stay stay tuned for that. Um, you'll also notice there's a little divot there on the right side of where I've just painted all the blue and that's just an imperfection from when I casted the mold. There must have been an air bubble trap there. And that's what you end up getting. However, once you've resined it, you don't even see it. So I don't even mind if there's air bubble pinholes or things like that. I don't mind because um, the paint just covers it up and then the resin fills it in. So you're good. Um, you don't have to worry about it unless it's something that is like really drastic if you've got a huge hole or something like that then maybe I would take some plaster of Paris and just rub it on there give it a little sand and then you're good to go that's just a, a tip and trick for me 
I also wanted to show you here the differences of not priming and priming. So I'm using it on his feet. So the left foot is red paint that's painted directly onto the, the dark blue background. And then the white or the right one is white and I will let them dry and I'll give them a second coat, one of second coat on the red one and then a first coat of red on the white one just to give you an idea as to when I tell you guys about the differences between uh, the background colors and how much of a difference it makes this is just to show you um, I do uh, fix it up later I paint um, his uh, the red one that's on the dark background I do paint that with white over top let it dry and then I catch it up to the other ones so that they are equal but it was basically I wanted to show you um, exactly what happens if you don't have the right color background and I find this happens a lot with red so that's why I wanted to show you that um, and here's my stars so I'm not the greatest at painting stars so what I did was I took a, an old makeup sponge and I drew sort of like a star on the top of it and then I used my scissors and I cut it out so I ended up with a stamp and it worked amazing I think it was awesome um, if you guys want a tutorial on how I did that let me know in the comments below um, I'm, I would be very happy, happy to um, show you how I did that um, it's very quick easy fun and you can do all sorts of different shapes and stuff if you don't have a stamp nearby um, the only thing I don't like about it is they were a little bit too big I could have gone a little bit smaller but um, I still really like the uh, the effect that I got from using the sponge so back to his feet I don't know if you saw that it was very quick but um, the differences between the the white primed background and the dark primed background and then painting red over top it just totally different night and day and I don't mean that as a pun <laughs> but take it as you will um, but yeah quite the difference so that's why I did his hat with white and I'm now doing his arms with white because those are going to be red and I will be putting some stripes on there so the red that I used was true red from folk art um, the uh, stars are white from deco art now what I'm doing is I'm using an enchanted shimmer white which is made by um, Americana and I'm putting that on because I needed a little bit of bling bling on the front or, or glitter on the front we've got all that beautiful explosion that was behind them that I've kind of painted over so I got to bring some of that forward so I'm just adding it to the stars and it's really filling in where the sponge didn't quite put in a full impression so it worked out great I think it looks really cute um, and you'll see a little bit later that I actually paint over most of the stars because I got to put a beard on them so uh, and then I noticed when I was editing this that the two stars on the brim of his hat look like eyes <laughs> so I'll tell you right now that was not intended that was quite the accident but it's almost like he's wearing star white sunglasses if you will <laughs> but anyways so um, there's the uh, the feet all done now or his shoes and they're the same color red now and I'm just doing his hat now uh, to give it all of the same color and I'm just painting over top of the white um, as my primer and getting as close to the edge as possible if you go over that's okay we're going to be outlining this in black anyways so um, and we'll be putting on the details of the wrinkles of his hat and uh, some of the other details around his nose and on his beard so stay tuned for that because it's coming um, but I just um, am putting on the red paint right now on his uh, arms and everything that was white that I'd primed as white I wanted to be this really brilliant red so and he's in the position to say hooray hooray <laughs> it's, it's the US of A's birthday it's Independence Day all of those great things so um, and I don't know why but 
I put mittens on him. I, maybe it was one of those cold nights uh, for celebrating with the fireworks. I don't know. Um, all my gnomes have had, um, well, pretty much all of my gnomes have had gloves on. So uh, I didn't even think of making them as hands, which I probably should have. It probably looked cuter, but I like this instead. Um, it gives me ideas too for um, maybe a Santa gnome uh, when we get closer to Christmas, but that's still a few months away, so we won't talk about that. So now I'm just putting on um, white stripes, and uh, because I'm now putting white over red, I'm going to have to do two coats of those because the red does shine through, and I want these to be crisp white. So red's a difficult, difficult color. Uh, to cover up it's a different color or difficult color to um, uh, paint with a dark background so it is troublesome however it's worth the trouble because if you've got the right color of red it just makes it pop and really stand out and that's why I really really wanted to show you what you can do to make that color really shine and it's just by, if you've got a dark background, it's just by adding white behind it so that it really shines through. Or it doesn't, the white doesn't shine through, but the red really, really shines. Um, <clears throat> so now I'm just putting on uh, the stripes on his hat. And I painted on a few bumps on the one side. And those are going to eventually be like wrinkles and folds in his hat. And um, so that's why I'm doing the stripes up to that point. I'm going to let that dry and while I'm letting those stripes dry, I'm going to paint on his beard. And as you can see, I'm painting over uh, three of those stars that I put on his chest and on his um, outfit. Um, but you know what? It was fun to experiment with that and it might be something that I continue to do. But again, like I said, let me know in the comments below if you're interested in a tutorial on how to make these um, little sponge stamps. Uh, I find they're good for about one use and that's it. Um, I've tried cleaning them with uh, just some warm water and soap and it just seems like the, uh, the, the paint gets into them pretty deep and I can't get them out. So, uh, so I got to put in some shadows or some shading here in his beard. So I'm using a very light blue and I've added a lot of white to it. So this way um, I get the shadows and the light sources for his beard. And I really like how it sort of, um, it sticks with the, the whole persona of the whole rock of having it as a patriotic rock and um, having this guy being so excited. So it's just, it, it worked out so beautifully. I was so happy with how it turned out. If I've forgotten to mention any of the paint colors that I use, I do always list them all in the description below. So I list the brand name and the name of the paint that I use. So if I do forget to mention it while I'm recording, um, it's always going to be down there as well as I have a lot of really cool information um, and links about where to get um, some of my uh, the brushes that I use, um, where you can get your own molds from the Happy Dotting Company, uh, the tools that I use for dotting um, from the Dotting Center, plus I have links to my Facebook page, I've got links to my Etsy shop, um, there's all sorts of really neat information down in the description. So I invite you to please go down and view that. And if you've made it this far, thank you so much for sticking with me and watching this. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I do try my best to put a, a new video up once a week. Um, that's been a little bit difficult this year, but um, I'm doing my best. And I promise I will still continue to make content to be posted here. Um, and if you like this video, make sure you give me the thumbs up. And if you have already subscribed and you don't want to miss anything, ring the bell because that bell will definitely let you know when I've posted something new. So you just saw that I put on some of those, uh, the wrinkles and the folds in the hat. 
it really makes the hat stand out now. Like it's really making it look like it's 3D rather than just a, I don't know, a, a floppy something on his head with white stripes on it. So um, I just outline everything that I think needs to be outlined. So I did his nose. I'm now doing some of his beard. I'm not going to do um, uh, the stars or outline the stripes that are on his hat, his shoes, and on his arms. I'm not going to outline those because I really want those to just sort of be naturally blended into each other. But I do outline his... Um, uh, his arms, the cuffs, his mittens, um, and uh, just the outlines of his shoes. But uh, I really just wanted to um, make him stick out from the background, and I think I achieved that. I add a little wrinkle there at the bottom of his, um, I guess we'll call it his coat, um, and I just added uh, a little wrinkle there just to show some movement I guess and now doing his shoes you'll also notice too that I put on some sort of like fuzzy ends on his cuffs and I will outline those as well so um, basically uh, this is pretty much done I enjoyed doing uh, this gnome in my gnome series this being uh, the Independence Day gnome um, and like I said at the beginning of the video, because I did one for Canada, I definitely had to do one for the U.S. For all of my U.S. friends, um, my U.S. YouTuber video watchers, <laughs> um, I, I just had to include you. So uh, this is my uh, interpretation or my contribution to your Independence Day. And again, I apologize for it being a month late, but know that this was painted before. I'm just getting the video out now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so that's basically it. I uh, do his cuffs there. Uh, you'll also notice, too, that there's um, a white line around the edge. And I did that on purpose because I'm going to put, oh, here I am doing it right now. I'm going to put a gold ring around the whole thing. And that white bar or white space gives me the perfect opportunity to make sure that it is absolutely perfect. So there you have it folks. Life is what you make it. So get creative. Mm -hmm.